of what a process is. Eh? Remember, process makes things change. So if you look at the example that we did, that 23 to become a 46, something had to happen, and that's called the process. The process is whatever makes the 3 change to become a 46, which is the addition of a 23 plusing 23, the operation plusing. So you'll always see how one thing becomes another needs a process. If I showed you an example of a yellow ball, and then I say the yellow ball then becomes an orange ball. So this, why yellow ball become an orange ball? Then you could say, okay, look, there's some guy who's painted the ball. So therefore, the process would be paint, ball, orange. Or it could be that the ball is in a different type of room with different lighting that transforms the yellow into an orange because light can change in different conditions. So therefore, the process is what changes something to something different. So the input and the output are thing that feeds in, feeds out. Please make sure that you use the correct symbols when you do that. I always think of the word process linked up to the word proceed. Who's heard of the word proceed? Okay, so most of us, to go onward, to going forward, to make changes, to produce some transformation, to move things. Why do you think in your studies of social sciences, we use the word product? Because product is the result of the process of manufacturing. You have to do something to the raw materials and all the other objects that feed in through machinery, human beings doing their labor, transforming products, transforming things to become products. We all know that a TV set used to be just a lump of iron and a whole lot of plastic at one stage that was then undergoing a process and suddenly became a TV set. So what that means is the process is what changes things. It's the forces that change things to something different. Okay.